Here they come, my two intrepid explorers, Charlotte and Elliot. I'm the great Aunt Lizzie, you see, and I wonder which one is coming to see me today. Ah, so it's Charlotte's turn. Here she comes, racing to hear another tale from an epic adventurer. And what wonderful adventures they were. So long ago and so far away. I collected a few souvenirs along the way. But my most precious possession of all is my extraordinary collection of teacups. your coat on, Charlotte. Come on. No time to count the clouds. We've got stories to tell. Now, let's have a lovely cup of tea. But first, we need... The teacup. Which one? What a choice, Charlotte. I do really love that story. This will be just perfect to drink now. So, are you ready? Ready. Then let me tell you the story of Great Aunt Lizzie and the adventure of the lost keyring. <coughs> oh, yes, of course. Let me tell you the story of Charlotte <laughs> and the adventure of the lost keyring. It all began long ago in an ancient empire where towns and cities of marble and gold nestled among the hills and fields in a land we now call Italy. After journeying for days across the Roman Empire with its beautiful basilicas and its magnificent mosaics, Charlotte found herself in the cool morning shade of a grand street. The breeze was rich with the aroma of freshly baked bread. Charlotte followed her nose in search of the sauce of the tasty smell. That's the last two. All baking done for today. That's great, Patricus. I think I'll just pop over and pay the miller. I don't like owing money for flour. You do that, and I'll have a ten-minute rest. Oh. <clears throat> I need the money, Atticus. We owe him more this week because of the Venalia Festival. Oh, so we do. So where is the key to the strong box? Then I can get the money to pay him on my finger, where it always is. Atticus! I don't know why you can't have an ordinary key. The number of times you have lost a key ring. Because it's the latest thing in Rome. It's a key on the ring that you can wear. It's very clever. Not if you keep losing it, it's not. Right then. I suppose we have to start to look. Again. Maybe it's in the back room, like last time. Mm. Aren't you going to help me, look? I would, my love, but uh, I have the shop to watch. Immediately, Charlotte knew how she could help. Excuse me, I could watch a shop for you. Really? Then you could both go and look. Excellent idea. Come on, Atticus. 
Come in, my love. Good morning. Good morning. Now, do you have any fresh loaves? Yes, lots. The beasts have just come out the oven. Oh, yes. It's still warm. Wonderful. They do smell delicious. I'll take them both. Oh, great. I'm meeting my brother in the square. He loves fresh bread, too. Thank you very much. Thank you. We can't find the keyring anywhere. What a puzzle. The keyring had to be somewhere. Maybe you need to think back to when you last had the keyring. That's a brilliant idea. Atticus. When did you last have it? Well, I think I had it before I took it off to knead the dough to make the last two loaves. I put it right here on the table. Well, it's not there now. Maybe the cure ended up in the dough where you were kneading it. I suppose it's possible. Then you bake the dough. With the key ring inside. The key ring must be in. In the last two loaves of bread you made. That Brilliant! Is. Now all we have to do is break open the loaves and the key will be there. Where are they? In that split second, it dawned on Charlotte what had happened. I just sold them to a woman. Oh, no. Well, she can't be far. She said she was meeting her brother in the town square. Without wasting a moment, Charlotte sprung into action. She thought getting the key ring would be as easy as pie. But, of course, it was never going to be as easy as that. Just as Charlotte approached, the woman popped the last piece of bread into her mouth. <gasps> oh, dear. Had she just eaten the key ring along with the loaf? Charlotte hardly dared ask. The loaf? Mm. It was delicious. Thank goodness for that. The key ring must have ended up in the other loaf. And do you still have the other one? No. I gave it to my brother. He's gone home to Rome now. Crumbs. How had a little trip to the bakery got so complicated? She'd watched the shop while the baker and his wife looked for the key ring. Good morning. She'd got the baker to retrace his steps to try to remember where he'd put it. Where are they? She'd sold the two loaves to the woman, but she couldn't have known that the key ring was inside it. Thank you very much. And she thought getting the key ring back from the customer would be a doddle. But no, she couldn't go back without the key ring, could she? There was nothing else for it but to set off at a rate of knots to Rome to find the woman's brother. So off went Charlotte in her old battered boots. She scrambled up the rugged mountain paths until, when she was almost out of breath, the path ran out. There was only one way to get to the other side. Charlotte took a deep breath. Safely across, she set off once more until there before her was the magnificent city of Rome. But there was no time to be awestruck. Charlotte had to find that loaf. Charlotte ran through the streets and soon found herself at the brother's house in Rome. The loaf lay untouched on the table next to the man. At least he hadn't eaten it. Excuse me. I'm sorry to bother you, but did your sister give you that loaf? Yes, she did. We ate hers at lunchtime. I'm saving mine for supper. Charlotte wasn't at all sure how to phrase this extraordinary request. So she decided that honesty was the best policy. The baker lost his queuing and I think it may be in that loaf. Oh, really? So I was wondering if I could, um, break it open. 
But if you break it open now, it'll be all dry later when I eat it for my supper. What a conundrum. For a moment, Charlotte was stumped. So she looked in her bag for a bit of inspiration and pulled out... Tweezers. They might work. If Charlotte could extract the keyring very carefully... Just hold this, please. It would leave the loaf intact. The man agreed. As carefully she could, Charlotte inserted the tweezers. She just about managed to get a purchase on the keyring and then she pulled. I got it! And my loaf is still in one piece. Finally, Charlotte had the keyring. She turned it over in her hand and was surprised at how small it was. No wonder it had become hidden in the loaf. Thank you. I'd better take it straight back to the baker. Hope you enjoy your loaf tonight. Thank you. I will. Bye-bye. Bye. Back came Charlotte in her old battered boots, over the plains and down the mountainside. She'd been to Rome and back in a day, and all for the sake of a keyring. She ran into town and back to the shop where Charlotte arrived in triumph. You got it. Well done. It wasn't quite as easy as I thought. I'll go and pay the miller in a minute. First, let's have some lunch. But as the baker broke open the loaf, there was yet another surprise. Inside that loaf was another ring. Your wedding ring. Whoops. <laughs> in one day. <laughs> <laughs> let's just eat the soup. Yes, let's. And that was that. The whole kit and caboodle. Charlotte and the adventure of the lost key ring. Was that really his wedding ring in the loaf? It was. Thank goodness they decided to have that loaf for lunch. Otherwise it might have gone forever. And to think, it all started because his wife wanted to pay the miller for the flour. Exactly. And who would ever have thought that the keyring was actually in that loaf that you sold to the woman? Who gave it to her brother. Who was saving it for his supper. Well, I never. Is that the time already? <laughs> Come on. Your mum will be here in a minute. Your coat. Did that get there? Home time now, Charlotte. Mum's great, I'm busy. Cheery bye, Charlotte. 